All right, guys, so exterior angles and then angles and quadrilaterals. So um, let's start with a definition here. Let's take a look. If we have um, a triangle, okay, as seen there, um, SRQ is the triangle. Um, the definition, so an exterior angle of a triangle is formed by extending a side of the triangle. Okay, so the vertex of the exterior angle is a vertex of the triangle. So what that means in a figure the points where the sides meet are called uh, vertices, okay? That's the plural for vertex. Um, if we extend the side, okay, down here, extend side SQ by drawing this symbol here with the um, one arrow on the top and the other end is just a dot, is uh, for a ray. And what it means, it's going to start at the first letter and it's going to continue in one direction, okay? So that's a ray. It doesn't go both directions, but it does extend forever in one direction. And they want us to draw ray SP. So I need to put a point P somewhere on here. That red ray that I just drew is now a ray, SP. We continued it through point Q, right? And we created an exterior angle, um, RQP. So the way you figure out where an angle is, is you read it in that order. So R, then Q will be what's called the vertex, and then it goes through P. So that angle is this angle right here. Okay, that's angle RQP. If we highlight the actual sides of the angle right there, okay? Can we describe the relationship between the measures of angle RQP, okay? RQP is the one we just highlighted in green, and RQS. So RQS would be R to Q to S this way. So that angle is RQS. Any uh, Anything jump out as far as a relationship between those guys? Okay, hopefully you're noticing the two of them combine to form a straight line, right? If we took this amount plus this amount, it, it ends up being a full um, straight line or 180 degrees. So that would be the relationship, right? The sum is 180 degrees. The fancy term for those angles, they are called a linear pair. Okay, because again, the two of them combine to form a line. Okay, we could also say they are supplementary. All right, number two here, an exterior angle has been drawn at each of the three vertices. Okay, so we have these three exterior angles. We have one right here. We have another one right here. And then we have another one right here, right? So we have three exterior angles, one for each of the points. The original triangle, of course, is this right here. Okay, all right, so can we find the measure of each of the three exterior angles? Okay, so let's begin by finding that missing angle in the triangle, um, this angle right up here. We know the angle sum of a triangle is 180, okay, just like we saw before. So if I take 180, subtract the 38 and the 54, okay, that's going to get us an angle here of 88 degrees. Okay, so now we know all the angles in the triangle. Now we can go and find those exterior angles. Okay, so let's just start at the top. So that angle um, RSB, which would be this angle right here. Okay, I know that it's supplementary to the 88 degree angle because they form a linear pair. So the 180 minus 88 would get me a measure out here of 92 degrees. Okay. Um, now on the left, this angle out here, right here, angle B, it's supplementary with the 38 degree angle. Okay, so if I take 180 minus the 38, that's going to get me a 142 degree angle out here. Okay, and then finally we have angle, angle M out there. It is supplementary to the 54 degree angle. So if I subtract the 54, we are going to get 126 degrees. All right, so let's look at the relationship then between these exterior angles and the uh, other angles in the triangle. So I just drew a random triangle here. Um, I didn't put any numbers or anything, but let's say that in the triangle, the angle measures are A, B, and C, okay? Just whatever angle degrees they might be. Okay, then I drew an exterior angle you'll see next to angle C, and uh, that is called adjacent, okay? Angle C and D are adjacent, remember, because they're right next to each other, they share that common side. So let's think about a couple things that we know, okay? We know already, what do we know about A plus B plus C? 
A plus B plus C. So those are the three interior angles of a triangle, right? We know that they add up to 180 degrees. We had that theorem about that the other day. Okay, we also know that angle D plus angle C, okay, if you look at where those are, angle D and angle C form a linear pair, okay, so they add up to 180 degrees as well. Okay, so what I want you guys to notice is that C, okay, or notice in these equations, I should say, let's highlight A plus B and angle D, right, must be the same thing, okay? If you look at the equations, okay, we could do, you know, some manipulating the equations if we wanted to. Like we could, um, let's just say on this first one, I'm, I'm just trying to show algebraically why these are equivalent. The first equation said this, A plus B plus C equals 180. If we just subtracted C from both sides, we would get A plus B equals 180 minus C. Okay, in this second equation, if we subtracted C from both sides, we would get that D equals 180 minus C. Okay, so what I'm trying to get to here is that if you notice 180 minus C if it equals A plus B, and it also equals D, that means that A plus B must equal D, okay? And, and I know this is a little tough sometimes to see if we don't have actual numbers, and we'll do one with numbers in a minute, but there's this property or theorem that basically states whenever you have an exterior angle here, okay, it will always equal the sum of the two. These are called remote interior angles. Okay, it's not the adjacent one, not that one, but the other two angles in the triangle, their sum, okay, A plus B, will always equal the other adjacent, I'm sorry, the other exterior angle. Okay, let's look at an example. Let's look at the one we started and just see it in action, but that's kind of the, the idea. And again, it's because they both um, can be multiplied to uh, equal 180. I'm sorry, added to 180. Let's look at a specific example. I'll try and clear this up a little bit. Okay, here was the figure that we did, that we used previously, right? Let me just uh, make this a little larger. Okay, this was from the previous example. If you guys notice on that one, for example, let's, let's take this exterior angle right here, the 142 degree angle, okay? The 38 is its adjacent interior angle because it's next to it, okay? So the other two angles in the triangle will add up to the exterior angle. The 88 plus the 54 equals the 142, okay? Let's look at a, look at a different, uh, different one, okay? For a different exterior angle, let's say, for example, the, the 92 degree angle. That's an exterior angle. It will be the sum of the two interior angles of the triangle that are not the adjacent one, okay? So let's see what we can do. What can we do with this? Let's use a little bit. Okay, here's an example of a type of problem we should know how to do. Can we find the value of x? Okay, and I'm going to tell you there's kind of a, a short way using the new uh, property that we just saw, or you could also kind of do it a little bit longer way. The new way, though, the short way, is by the, is recognizing that this exterior angle right here, okay, will equal the sum of the two remote interior angles. Okay, that's going to be the quickest way to do this thing. Add the 75 plus the 40, and that's going to give us 115. Okay, that's going to get us our answer real quick. Okay, that's just the new theorem, right, in a, in a perfectly quick example. The other option, okay, and, and let's say you didn't recognize that or whatever, you're just not comfortable with the theorem. The other option is to find the angle, the other interior angle, okay, using the angle sum of 180. Okay, we know that this angle plus the 75 plus the 40 needs to equal 180. So I could take 180 minus 40 minus 75, and that would get me to this interior angle, 65. Okay, and then we could use the fact that the exterior angle plus this adjacent angle must be 180. 
Okay, so that would get us the 115, just in a little bit longer method. Okay, number four, can we determine the measure of each exterior angle? Okay, so in the triangle, what's this measure here? Let's just kind of draw out the triangle. Here's the triangle. Y, A, X, boom, and back to Y. Okay, so we can do this any way we want. Okay, we can, we need the three exterior angles. So, um, we can use the new theorem, we can use the angle sum, you, you kind of use whatever you want. So if you just want to play it safe and just use the old uh, old school methods, we could find this interior angle first, again using the 180 angle sum. So I'll take 180, subtract the 43, subtract the 68. That gives me this other interior angle would be 69 degrees. Okay, and that will allow us to then find the um, exterior angles using the 180 sum for linear pairs. Okay, so for example, let's just say we want to find this guy here, okay? Two ways to do it, right? You can either take 180 minus the 43, which is probably the quickest way to do that. Okay, that's one option that gets us the 137 degrees. Okay, all the new theorem is saying is that that would be the sum of the other two remote interior angles. Add 68 plus the 69, you're gonna get the 137, okay? So you can do it any way you want. Um, the other exterior angles would be this guy here, okay? Again, we can do it two ways. We can subtract the 68 from 180, it's probably the fastest way. Okay, and that'll get us a 112 degree angle out here. Okay, and then finally, our last one, um, the exterior angle out here, we could just subtract the 69 from 180 and get our final answer of 111 degrees. Okay, so you can do it however you want, different options. The new theorem makes it a little quicker, but uh, you know, doesn't have to be used all the time. Okay, let's set up one more. This one's kind of, they just gave you a situation. And so the two measures, or the, I'm sorry, the measures of two angles of a triangle are 75 and 65. Determine the measure of the largest exterior angle. Okay, so let's just draw kind of a picture here. Sometimes it helps just to have a figure. And I'm not trying to draw it like to the right accuracy or anything. I just want to have a picture with two angles in it. Okay, so what I know is that we can find this, this third interior angle in a triangle by subtracting 75 and 65 from 180. So the, the interior angle there is going to be a 40 degree angle. Okay, that's the third angle in the triangle. Okay, now here's what we can do. Okay, we can figure out um, the largest exterior angle if we want to use the, um, the new property we were using we know that the exterior angles are going to be the sum of the two remote interior angles. So one of the exterior angles, and we can, we can draw these out here, that one, we got one there, and we got one there. Okay, so this angle right here, if I just call that X, okay, again, two options. You can either subtract the 75 from 180, or you can add the other two angles together. That plus that, will give us 40 plus 65 is 105. Okay, so there's one exterior angle. Okay, the angle out here could be found if we, let me get a purple, add the, add the other two interior angles, 75 plus 40, okay, which should be 115. Okay. And then finally, the last interior angle out here would be found by adding the two other interior angles. The 75 plus 65 gets us 140. Okay, so the largest one, boom, is the 140. Okay, notice that just adds up to 180 along with the 40. So I'm just giving you different um, options, different methods. It may be easier to not even worry about the other two interior angles and just use the sum of 180 little property. That's totally up to you. 
Okay, just to see the new theorem one more time, all it's really simply saying is this. If you have a triangle that has three angles in it, and you have some of those measurements, when you create an exterior angle out here, let's just call that A, okay? All it's telling you is that the exterior angle is going to equal the sum of the two remote interior angles. And we kind of showed it earlier, it has to deal with the fact that um, x plus y plus z equals 180, and that also a plus z equals 180. Okay, so this kind of just gives you a, a shortcut way to, uh, to find some exterior angles. All right.